Oz here uh, with the latest update. We have a couple of new features, um, mainly the auto battle, auto clear, auto raid, auto solo campaign. Uh, a lot of automation. Uh, very, very nice. Hopefully it'll be time time saving. Um, first thing I kind of wanted to do is uh, solo campaign. I can't really show you much about it because I've already done it. And you had to clear it once before you can auto. So I'm not really sure how it works, but I'm pretty sure once you've cleared all the way up to stage eight, um, it should allow you to auto clear. We'll, we'll, we'll see if that's any complicated. Uh, same thing with the dungeons. I don't have any ready right now. But you basically just click on one of them and, and auto clear if you've already three started. I'm not going to pay 200 gems to get um, some green eggs. Auto raid. Auto raid is kind of neat. You, you pick your five guys. Um, uh, like right now, it's telling me down here at the, at the bottom, I'll get 36,500 uh, coins for every 10 minutes that I raid. If I take out, um, we'll take out separate. Whoops. You got to click on them over here to take them out. I uh, take out Saffrix and put in Blockhead. It's 34922. So I'm not really sure where they're getting the number from. I know Blockhead is like a skill 16 or so. Uh, Saffrix is skill 20. I don't think they're taking into account evolution. I think they're just taking into account the skill set. Uh, if I use this Pangoli down here instead of Blockhead, it should go a lot lower, 32,000. Uh, so anyway, I, basically, I, I think the, the best thing to do here you can't die, or at least I've never died in the few that I've tried. So just take the guys with the um, five highest skills. Each one of these five guys is 20 skills, so that's why I have them up there. Uh, then you can go for two hours. You can go for 10 hours. Basically, the way it works is for every hour, you get a chest. Um, so for two hours, you would need six empty slots in your in your bank. For 10 hours, you would need uh, 30 empty slots. Or if you have the city treaty, it would be you know times five instead of times uh, three. So every hour you get a chest and every 10 minutes you get money. And those chests can be money, it can be green eggs, it can be whatever you can get normally. Okay, the other thing I wanted to go over, and this is kind of actually, uh, I think it can be useful, although right now it's uh, definitely limited in what it can do. It's the auto battle setting. And basically you get there by going to your uh, set attack formation right here. Uh, you come to auto battle setting. And you basically order what order you want uh, everybody to do things in. It's, it's broken down into two things, the active skill and then, and then the, 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 the divine skill. Um, so in this case, I have my abyss demon going first with his uh, heal. Then I have my great sage going second with his, uh, to, you know, lock out uh, the other guys. Then I have Pangoli going next. Then Chiron... And then lastly, I have Saffrix going just because he uses more rage than the others. And he's more of a, for resource raids, I bring Saffrix instead of Landslide just because he speeds things up. But I only speed him up when things are uh, well in control. Well, it looks like right now with this, I should be able to um, just kind of sit it down, set the phone down for a little bit. The Divines are kind of the same thing. Uh, now, the skills are actually pretty well done. The divines are absolutely horribly done uh, because it just starts out clicking divines, which, you know, if you know anything about the divines, each one of them has a, oh, well, not each one. Most of them have an offensive uh, component to it, and they have a defensive component to it. Uh, a good example would be like the abyss demon's divine. You know, you want to make sure he's got his skill clicked before you click his divine so that everybody gets... Uh, healed with his divine. Also, you don't want to start the fight out uh, with, you know, Pounder's divine, which is going to be his heal, uh, or Abyss's divine. So it's it's a little a little crazy in, in that instance, in the fact that it just kind of spams your divines a little bit. It, it seems to be about every three or four seconds it'll click a divine. Um, so I don't really know um, how to get away from from doing that. So what I've done here is I've kind of uh, you know, Saffrix, I just use him to get money or to bust the little yellow bubbles, the armor bubbles on the buildings. Great Sage, I use his divine to get rage, so I put him at number two. Um, Chiron, I put him at three just because I'll at least one is uh, his active skill click before he clicks his divine. So at least his horse, he's... Uh, Get the get the buff instead of just his uh, clone. Then I did uh, Abyss four and, P and Pangoli five. I honestly you could go either way. Um, 
and I'm going to show you kind of how it works right here. Uh, we're just going to go pick a fight. You don't want to do a fight that's too difficult because, like I said, this is definitely uh, automated, and it's, um, it's, it's kind of crazy. This is a real human. Um, we're, we're not going to start with that one, uh, even though we, we would be able to take it without the auto. Okay, this is a, a computer drone account, Zachary Bear. So we're going to start with this. I'm just going to drop all the guys in the corner and click auto battle. So what it's going to do, it's going to start with the Abyss. As soon as I have enough um, Rage, it'll go ahead and, and click the ones in the proper order. Now whenever I get two Rage, it's going to click Saffrix. And you can kind of see how it's doing the Divines. About every three seconds or so, it's clicking one of the Divines. Now I've got Saffrix, so it's going to start back over with the Abyss Demon. Um, if I have the Rage to do it. And then it should do Pangolian next. And this is actually, uh, after Chiron, it's usually going to skip Great Sage and go to Saffrix because uh, Great Sage is still counting down. Uh, it might do it. No, it's going to do Great Sage. No, it did Saffrix. Um, and uh, this is where I would obviously be doing it a little differently. I would not have my Abyss not healing if it were, were a tight fight. So, once again, this is definitely kind of a set it and forget it against, you know, really weak bases. I don't see anybody using this for Lord's League or, or using it for, you know, you come across a base with 600,000 coins, you, you're you're not going to um, be using the auto raid for this. This is another super easy base, so we'll just do auto battle there. And just so you can see again, it's going to start in the order that I put them in. Saffrix Divine in about three seconds, it'll do Sage's Divine about three or four seconds, it'll do Chiron's Divine. Uh, and once again, it's just kind of pushing the skills in the order that I have them. If the cooldown is, is finished, and if I have the rage to do the skill. So, once again, I really think if they would allow us to do some kind of timer on the on the divines, um, it would be uh, useful, because you don't necessarily want to use all your divines up in the first uh, 20 seconds of the fight. Um, but but it, it's definitely... Uh, much much better than what we had i will say that i'm very pleased with this uh feature i there's one thing i do want to show you uh, i'll do one more fight i was going to try to keep this video real quick uh you, you cannot click the active skills um when auto battle is uh is pushed um look this is a good fight we'll show it and i'll probably get killed because okay so if i wanted to click well, shoot, it's letting me click my divines. Okay, I, I stand corrected then. Earlier, I was not able to click, um, and I might, maybe I just wasn't um, doing it properly. So I guess you can't override the... Oh, I never clicked auto battle. Jeez, I'm an idiot. All right, um, I'm going to just surrender here. Try it again. Now I'm confused. I don't know if it'll let me do it or not. Okay, put the guys down, click auto battle. Yeah, it's not letting me click any of the divines. I can't override what it's already doing. So the only way I can override anything, like say I really need to get that abyss off, I would have to undo auto battle, then click that, and then click it back again. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of wish there was an override feature where at least you could, um, but I guess if you want to just stick it in your pocket, you don't have to worry about uh, pushing any buttons that you don't need to push. So that's it. I uh, just kind of wanted to go over uh, real quick um, the auto features. Um, I, I won't have an, a dungeon to do here in a little bit, but, but really it's just like the uh, El Dorado. Uh, if you have already three starred um, any one of these, you can just click auto clear and it'll just wipe it out for you. Um, so all right, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know uh, in the comment box or uh, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.